Honestly, that's a Zigbee sensor overload. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Thing. Today we're going to take a look at Sonoff Zigbee sensors. That's right, Sonoff has a new sensors on offer and they are Zigbee and you can use them with Sonoff Zigbee Bridge, something I covered previously in this video. And IT had guys were kind enough to send me the bunch of bunch of the Zigbee sensors so I could take a look and share my opinion with you. So we're gonna take a closer look and see if they are any good. And if you follow me for long, you know I know my Zigbee stuff. These are actually not the only Zigbee products that Sonoff has on offer. Previously I talked about a couple of other products apart from the Zigbee Bridge, which was a Sonoff Basic R3 Zigbee Edition and the Smart Block S36, which is available in States, unfortunately. It doesn't work in here, I don't have a compatible socket for that. Uh, oh well. Some of Zigbee sensors don't suffer from this, so I will be able to play with them in the UK. And you're probably gonna be able to play in whatever country you wish. So follow me to this side of the desk and I'll show you all the sensors up close. I like Zigbee stuff. Quite a bit, actually. To the point that I even got this sort of Zigbee basic. And this smart plug, which is for US, and I completely can't use it, but I still have it. But this video is about sensors, son of sensors. So this is a button, and this is, this is not a button, this is temperature sensor. If you pay close attention, you'll notice the difference. Unless it's dark, then probably not so much. But who says son of sensors don't come with variety? Just take a look at this PR, it's completely different. And lastly, the contact sensor, which is completely not like the other ones. As you figure out by now, they all share a similar design, which could be problematic if you don't see the label. They all come with a much better battery, which is CR2450, improved design over CR2032 in case you can't read the numbers. Well, except this one. This is a black sheep of Son of Sensors. It still comes with CR2032 battery, just to get you confused. Uh, seriously, I need a black marker pen to get that fixed. While you watch this beautiful b-roll, let me tell you about the range. The range is quite significant, and I went outside to test it. I almost made it to the shed. I've actually did manage to get to the shed, I just didn't have any range. Couldn't go elsewhere because of lockdown either. Don't expect a fingerprint reader, you have to press on this. Once you press it, it's pretty responsive. So let's see if it has other options. How about a double click? I'm sure it has a double click, right? That's cool. How about triple click then? No dice. Even if you click frantically, one click or triple click, that's all you get. How about we're gonna try a long press? Um, no dice. Okay, let's uh, try a longer press. Still nothing. Okay, so how about a long press for a very patient people? Yeah, that's definitely not me, but it works! I've mentioned the extended battery, which is probably explanation for a bigger size of the sensor. And this is something I really like, because considering how long other sensors last on a smaller battery, that should last really, really long time. Next up is the temperature sensor, which reuses pretty much the same case, and it posts temperature and humidity. It works. If I hold it in my hands, you can see that the update changes, especially if I press the button. Oh god, I've got very humid fingers. I don't know what I've been doing, but honestly, the humidity just keeps on raising. This is the hole. Do you see? I've got really sticky fingers right now. What's going on? Okay, never mind. Once you press the button, you will be able to receive the information. Unfortunately for this Sonoff, even though it uses the bigger battery and uh, is able to uh, last for much longer, it just uh, doesn't store these values. So you have uh, information available in the app, but when you click on it, it doesn't take you anywhere, it doesn't show you any charts. That's slightly disappointing. Yeah, well, that's the Sonoff temperature sensor for you. Okay, this is a PRR. This is a PIR, <clears throat> this is PR sensor, and you'll have to... So this is motion sensor, and you'll have to trust my word when I say it activates every 150 seconds, because I'm not going to 
let you wait 150 seconds just staring at it. I'm far too impatient. Oh, that's the pairing hall, in case you look for it. It uses this big battery again, so it's gonna last quite a bit. But uh, I don't know why they've used this different mounting mechanism. You really need a back cover to, to get this uh, encased properly. Now another disadvantage of using that, apart from no controls for timings, is that you have a flat surface, so you can't really angle this. You can stick it to a wall, but that's going to be facing at 90 degrees, and that's pretty much it. And this is me fighting with a contact sensor. I honestly am struggling to get it open, mostly just to show you this black sheep that uses a smaller battery. I really wish they used the bigger battery at this point and uh, you would have all the batteries the same for all son of sensors that would be great you know consistency is the key now that i've stopped messing with it i can show you how responsive it is so you had idea basically the update happens within a second or so it's not too bad however it's not very responsive in terms of repetitive action these are still branded as son of therefore they are linked to ewilink app and we all know and love Ewilink app, right? Ewilink app isn't the greatest and the implementation with the Sono devices is basic. Other than the current state of the sensors and the basic log, there isn't much to see in the devices itself. Even the temperature sensor doesn't even come with a chart. And the only redemption from the Ewilink is the automation tab, which you can use to link different devices together. That's fair plus side. I'm for sure gonna take the sensors and connect them to CC2531 and link it to my home automation setup, just to test it out. I'll be also curious to see whether updates to Zigbee Bridge brought support for other devices as well, so maybe I'll be able to finally use IKEA stuff with Zigbee Bridge. If not, I'll test if the sensors itself can be used with stuff like uh, Xiaomi uh, Hub or maybe uh, Tuya Hub, because I've got one of those as well. That should be enough of incentive to subscribe to my channel and follow me. Come on, guys, I need this. If you like the idea of those Son of Budget sensors, because they're pretty cool on its own, to be honest, uh, you can head to the description of this video where you can find the links to a write-up and the links to purchase uh, the Son of sensors itself. If you do that, Son of Guys will know that I've sent you and they're going to shower me with more new devices, for example, like these Son of 4CH and 4CH Pro R3, which I reviewed a couple of days ago. So if you're bored and waiting for delivery of your new Zigbee sensors, just click on that and watch that video instead. As for now, guys, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you fancy a follow-up video to that and me playing with sensors uh, with different environments, definitely follow me on social media to get that notification, and obviously you know how YouTube works, I don't have to teach you, uh, that 10,000 different other accounts probably already did so, so I'm not going to be the one. No, no. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.